In the last videos, I showed you this app that I found called Isometric Paper, where you connect the dots and you can draw a line and make a string run like this one. Well, I want to show you another app that I have found. And the easiest way for me to show you how I found it is I went to the the app store and you go to search and you search isometric paper lift this up so I go to the isometric paper and I click it and then it brings up this isometric paper that I have already opened. So I click it so that I can view it. Now, what I did is I come down here and here's more apps by the person that wrote it. Well, right below that, it's you may also like. And in these apps, I come over and there's this one that's called Classroom Pencil Case. I clicked on it and it does everything we need and so I opened it and I'll just click out of that I opened it so it's right here so I open it and it gives you this screen and what you can do with it is the top one, it gives you your colors that you want. We'll go ahead and pick black. This one's your pens. You can either write a text, erase, pencil, pen, or highlighter. Let's click pen. And with the pen, you can do a squiggly line like this or if you click this line it does a straight so wherever you touch and start to draw it does a perfectly straight line and you can move it back and forth until you let go of it and then it will stay there and then like right here i skipped so i can erase those and then right down here is your trash can. So you can hit the trash can and it'll take everything off. It's got a protractor that you can move around and do that. Got a compass. It's got a ruler. So if you wanted to draw a straight line a certain length, it'll draw along your ruler. And you can move your ruler down and draw another one. Let me click off a ruler. Okay, let me get rid of those. This one right here is different papers. This is drawing a pie chart. And so in a second, it'll come up with a pie chart. It's taking too long. Okay, so there's my pie chart. I click it again. This is downloading square paper. There's my square graph paper. I click it again. Downloading a grid table. Okay. I click it again. Downloading isometric paper. That's the one we're looking for. It takes... Okay. There's our isometric paper. So, now that we've got our pen... We got this on straight, we can click on our spot and we can draw our grid diagram right on this paper. Just like that. And you can see 
how we can do that and then I can just trash it and then you click this again and it downloads I didn't read it it downloads dots so you could draw from dot to dot but it's not like the other app where it, it anchors on a dot and draws to a dot and then this one is lined paper you can see my computer's quite slow and then you can click it again and this is a blue blue tint for blueprint and then the next one is downloading a lesson plan where I guess if you wanted to do your object outcome key you could do that but now we're back to our clear but you can just click through those fairly rapid and get it okay the next one is it takes you to your photos so I go to my moments I click on this one this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven part, nine byte globe knot. And I drew my coatings in. And uh, you can see how clean. Okay, let me click this picture off and let's go back and get. Okay, here it is before I labeled it and did the coatings. Okay, if I wanted to label it, I'd hit here, and then if I just touch there, it'll come up, and I can put number one. Oh, I got to get on number one first. Number one, and see how I can go through and draw in all my numbers but here's what I want to show you is I click my pen I have it on black and this bar down here if I slide that across it'll show how wide a line oh and I'm on squiggly so if I wanted a straight one it'll show how wide I want this line so I can change that. That's about what I want right there. So I erase those. And then I can draw in my coding. And this is a column coded and row coded knot. So all I have to do is come down through here and draw in my coding. See what a clean... I don't want one up there. See how clean that is, is? Okay, so I'm going to... And then, if I delete my download or the picture I brought in, it just leaves my dots back. Okay, so I want to go back to my pictures. I want to go to here and bring this one back. Okay, now, to let's do highlighter. And let's do, let's do this blue color. Okay, so we want to see how wide we are. That's too wide, so I want to narrow it. Oop. How's that one look? That's about the same width as that, so that'll work. Okay, now that I've got that set and I'm on the square, I start at bite boundary one. Turn this so it, the light's not shining. And I just follow it up here to bite, bound, or bite number two. Go here. Come in at the bottom. Go to three. That was a free run. That's an under one. Oop, I missed it. Come out there and it comes in here to number four. That was an under one. And see how nice that is that we can uh, 
draw those lines straight and we could tie the knot from this. So I just wanted to show you this new draw program that I'd found and I hope that you enjoy it and thank you for watching.